Hello everyone, Alien Volt here, and I am playing The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. This is basically a mystery game. Um, you play as a detective looking for, well, Ethan Carter. This is part three of my playthrough series, and we're going to explore and see if we can find the next clue for our next mystery. Our next clue for finding Ethan. The graphics on this game are actually um, designed on the Unreal Engine, and I have to say, it does look very, very good, which is actually what uh, brought me to play this game. I was looking at it to purchase it for my wife because she really likes mystery games and and uh, games where you explore and solve puzzles, and when I saw the preview of it and looked at the graphics, I was like, man, I'm going to play this too. So here I am. It's an open world environment, so basically you have to move around and search for things. I'm moving through a little bit quick, but usually there's some lettering, but if you're not like right over it, sometimes it doesn't appear. So I'm taking a chance here that I might actually miss something. But look at this view. There's probably nothing out here, but, you know, I wanted to look and explore, make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, what's this? Um, okay. Some type of a puzzle. <laughs> Process of elimination. All right. What do we got here? An astronaut. That seems out of place. It's the ghost of an astronaut. I'm just sitting here. There he is. <laughs> As I'm sitting here trying to find this guy, I'm sitting here trying to puzzle in my head. Well, what does an astronaut have to do with the disappearance of Ethan Carter? Maybe this is just a kind of a, a goofy side mission, I don't know. But then the game developers are astronaut games. So, that's probably it, a tie-in. Where is he leading me? Um, in a circle? No, oh, that's different. So not quite a circle. I thought for a minute if I didn't catch him in time he was going to lead me in a circle. Oh, uh, where'd he go? There he is. Whoa. What is this? The vanishing of Ethan Carter. Alright, well, let's try it out. What's the worst that can happen? My mind is probed. My body is probed. That's probably the worst thing that could happen. <laughs> wow, we're above, above the planet here. And now we are traveling through the solar system. I think uh, someone's gotten into the happy cabinet. <laughs> I'm not seeing how this fits into the game, but I'm almost wondering now if there's a lot of imagination involved in this game. Not so much facts. I'm 
Definitely a trip. Alright, let's read the letter, find out what's going on here. Alright, it's talking about a beast and a light in the sky. The beast wanted to go home. Appearing between trees, definitely very weird. Stories, stories, always with the stories. I read the Thangs one. I liked uh, the beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. Alright, so there's the pod that we were in. Um, definitely seems more like I'm in the imagination of a kid rather than trying to solve a actual crime of a missing kid. I feel like I'm missing something. Like, did I actually solve a piece of a puzzle there, or am I still looking for signs of, like, a crash landing? Or a mysterious spaceman to appear again? I don't know. Well, I'm not really seeing anything. I guess that's it. Well, I think I'm going to run back down here to this cart and check around that for any clues that might have um, have anything to do with his disappearance, the murder on the track, anything. I mean, what drove them crazy? Was there something that they found out here? Not really seeing anything around this. No way to climb up and look. Can't get down there. Well, I guess we're going to have to move down the tracks and see if we find anything else. Maybe a dead end or the starting of uh, something new. Maybe we'll have an alien invasion on our hands. Maybe Ethan Carter is missing because he was abducted. Didn't really fit the uh, first part of the crime scene there, but... Maybe so, they were talking about some type of sleeping man or something like that, so maybe uh, the sleeping man's an alien. Maybe they awoke something they didn't want to awake. Man, the environment definitely looks great. Maybe we found a cave. Nope. We didn't find anything, apparently. Hmm. 
This game is very different in the sense that there's really not any chapters to it. It's just kind of an open world exploration. You run around, you discover the mysteries involving the disappearance of Ethan Carter, and if you can uh, find them all, you basically solve the puzzle. There's no real hand-holding involved in this game, so I mean, you uh, you really gotta look and pay attention. And if you happen to miss something, well, then there's gonna be a lot of backtracking if this is a large world environment. So far it doesn't seem that large, but I haven't really got to see it, you know, where it opens up. It does play pretty smoothly, but um, if I sprint, I notice I do get a little lag here and there. Nothing. I feel like I'm looking for something hidden, like a cave. But I don't know. I'm just kind of, you know, throwing out my imagination here and trying to find something. Well, there's our path across the bridge, or the dam, leading into town. But I do want to check this back area and make sure I'm not missing anything. But I think that's probably it. I don't think there's enough left over here to open up a new uh, mystery to solve. Not unless it's going to lead into the town. This is either a dead end or I can get around these tracks. Okay, I can get around the rock. Can't go down there, and this is, yeah, it's a dead end. Well, I think that about does it then. I think it's time uh, we head across the dam here and see what the town's like. This is pretty cool though. It would be really cool to find some type of uh, secret stairs or something that leads down, you know, on the side of the mountain. And then opening up a whole new area of the map. Wow, look at that. That's pretty damn cool. It's a nice screenshot. Alright, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I think uh, we finished the whole Spaceman thing. Unless I missed something, I really don't see anything else there for us to do. So we'll head on over into the town and see if we can find some more clues to this mystery vanishing of uh, Ethan Carter. I'll see you in the next video. Please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so.